Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Mercus and today we are playing more Satisfactory. So, let's get started. Okay, so last episode we finally unlocked tiers 5 and 6, which for the most part means oil and petroleum and all that stuff, as well as trains. And it turns out we can't unlock really anything at all. We need plastic or rubber and or plastic and or rubber for basically all of it. Except this which requires computers, which means we need to unlock this stuff, and then we have some like yeah, other stuff. So Yeah, we basically need to get a starter rubber and plastic setup going. Uh I want to go and basically head over to You know, the coast over there, where there is four coal uh, or oil loads, I think two of them are pure and two are normal. What's a normal and pure? I can't quite remember. Yeah. And what I actually want to go and do is I want to take all the oil in that place and turn half into rubber and the other half into plastic but to do that though we actually need a bunch of alternate recipes and stuff so I'm actually gonna wait a little bit until I get all of them and I think actually to get all the alternate recipes I think I need to unlock more stuff in there like especially the alternate fluid transport I'm pretty much positive we need like the package oil and stuff like that to do some of them well I'm actually not entirely sure but I don't so the plan right now is going to be to just uh, get some mam and then go unlock as much as possible in here. Off camera. And then we'll head over there and we'll just get like a starter oil setup. Starter oil setup. Get a little bit of plastic production, a little bit of oil production. Don't really care about rest, or plastic and rubber. Don't care about ratios, don't care about production or like efficiency or whatever. Get a little bit of it so we can actually unlock this stuff in here. And then we'll just sort of get started with building, or we'll unlock all the recipes. We probably may need more hard drives for that. That shouldn't be a problem. We can just go out hunting a little bit. Uh, we can get both the jetpack and the Blade Runners. No such be significantly easier. Plus, we can also scan for them. So, yeah, that is the plan. So, without further ado, I'm just going to go and do a whole bunch of research in here. And then, well, I'll be right back. It, let's get the zip line for sure. That's like, I think I made a pretty good tool. Oh, it does that weird thing. Oh. Get the air limiters. It's like kick you out. It's kind of weird. Uh, that super computers. Okay. Power switch, smart splitter. Oh. I think our limiters now. I think they just took like some smart plate or like reinforced iron plates before. That's nice. So apparently, a power plus mark free. I actually need this thing. Okay. Uh, expanded tool belt. Don't really care. Is there anything that's giving me extra inventory space? Because that would be pretty nice, I feel. You'll save. I don't know what this does actually. Nutritional processor. Oh. If I had, okay. Get scrub loop of a care package here with a bunch of stuff we might need. Let's go and head over there. At speed. Also, how fast do I like exit this thing? Really fast, okay. I feel like that might be the Blade Runners, because uh, I actually noticed that the sulfur, when I got up to the sulfur over there, it like flew me across half the map. <laughs> Which was inconvenient to say the least. Okay, let's go and scan for that crude. 
it's going to extract her. Uh, there's space that way, I suppose. Hey. Here. Oh, you're just making messes. Let's just ignore you for a second. Just feel like, uh. Okay, so what do we do with crude oil? This gives us crude oil. What do we do? Probably a refinery. Oh. Okay, good. That's one of your rotors. So, crude oil can turn into fuel or just plastic and rubber. So, I guess that's probably what we're going to do just split it half and half in plastic and rubber. Okay. At least for now, of course. Obviously, later on, we will have to, like, you know, refine the residual. Be like, uh, heavy. Oh, that's. Oh, that's a fluid. We can turn it into fuel. And then, I guess, just nothing? Oh, but don't go. Okay. Okay. So let's just go and. Get some refineries. Again, right now we don't care about ratios or anything, we literally just care about obtaining a little bit of oil and plastics. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just place this at uh, half of them on making plastic. And the other half can make rubber. So we'll make them at how fast? 20 per minute. Yeah, so that's gonna be decently fast, basically. Now, one likely thing I've sort of noticed when actually working with these pipes is when adding these pipe supports or like the junctions later on, the pipeline still like extends a little bit into it. Whereas you could actually just like, or if you actually do it, it just sort of goes into there. I keep wondering if it is worth to like deconstruct this thing. So this takes, uh, you can see like how this goes all the way to here. So that's three copper sheets. That's just two. So that's okay. You do save a sheet, but like now you can see it just goes to like the junction there. So there goes the center and that goes there. I don't know if that's worth doing. Um, it's not for the resources, but I'm actually wondering for like performance and stuff, if it's actually nice to do that. I know, I'll probably do it because I probably does not. Now we need power. Yes. So we do have the particle mark too, which is kind of nice. These have seven leads going on from it. Actually, for those just uh, six actually. And there we go, points for base. So, we've got the refiners now making the petroleum coke just to just avoid the heavy oil residue. And we got some rubber and plastic. Rubber, plastic, and rubber. 20 rubber per minute from 30 crude. Oh! Uh, I think we are okay, we're out of pipes again. Or we're out of uh, oil. Also, that's a bit annoying. Ladders on both sides, and it's like if you stick them like that, they get stuck. Uh, let's power shard this. So a normal node can give you 300 per minute. I think a pure node can give you 600. So that should be a bunch more. Although, yeah, well, let's just do it. Let's just make it simple. Really annoying, like they changed this so that before E used to be getting out, now it's F. 
simplification, but I have learned to use that though. Oh, you have this guy. That's a lot better. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna let this run for a while. Base until we have enough plastic and rubber to do much of research, I suppose. Okay. And there we go. Oh. Milestone reached. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. New project parts enable progress to the next phase. Right, okay. Cool. Uh, I do have some computers in the Wait. Hundred again. Okay. Let's go and get uh, this done. Is this still falling? No, okay. This makes a little noise. Uh. Yeah. Okay. What's that allow? Give us. Cluster Nobelisks, Explosive Rebar, the Rifle, hmm, Turbo Rifle Ammo, Nuclear Deterrent Development, hmm, okay. No, okay, so we might, like, can we get that? Could you just hand mine some uranium? Okay, uh, I think... Probably the next thing we should work on is just hard drives. I suppose. Uh, although we may actually want to... Well... I'm going to wait for this. Nah, we'll scan one more. Let's take a look and see what we get. Is this like more than 15 minutes? 10 minutes? Oh. Okay. I actually just want to animate the siblings one. Right, what is the price of jetpacks? Package fuel. Oh no, so I guess I don't necessarily need this other than the belts. True. Okay. All right, there's rain in this now. Cool. Now, there's actually one thing I also would like to do. Uh, which is gonna be pretty major. You see this assembler? It looks pretty cool. Only there's one annoying thing with it, it's like, it's yellow. And it's just kinda like orange yellow as well. I'm sure it looks cool, but you know what? Could look better. Hit. How am I just thinking about? What about white? Would white look cool? It kind of does. Okay. Wait, are they hyper tubes still? Weird. Yeah, so white doesn't look too bad. We'll do. Let's try some other ones. I was thinking it was like sort of tan. Or. Not tan, but like cyan? That is not cyan. Oh. How do you do this? Wait. Oh, wait, what? 
Oh, okay. So this is not the primary color, this is the secondary color. I guess. I have no idea what I'm doing. What? I can't I choose this? Aha! These are still yellow though. I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go red though. Max red, maybe like red and white? Cool. Is that red and white? Yes. It's not like the secondary details should be white. What is white? So these things are white? These things. Okay. At least look better. So you can see the factors as well. Or the walls look down. What will we find? Caprol ingot. That's a pretty good one. Fuse quick wire. Interesting. And that's bad. This isn't bad. I'm just wondering for like... I don't really need to use this anytime soon though is the thing. I'm gonna take this one. Uh, I am a little bit curious about like... Okay, so let's actually take a look at let's do not run I think. At some of the considerations we have to make. And there we go, gas mask. Neat. Milestone reached. Gas masks and filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based hazardous environments. Fixit Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. Yeah, so let's go and make the gas mask now. And then make some gas filters. Let's see how this works. So, turn this on. I'm not using any filters right now, it seems like. I guess if I actually start putting going into, I guess now it starts going down. Yeah, okay. Can you press over? It's usually like a park away. Neat. That was a new sound. And we get out, it stops using it, right? Yeah, let's go and get the alternate fluid transport now. After we get one and a half billion wires. And there we go. Milestone reached. Fluids can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belts. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. So that was all of tier uh, five now. Okay. I think the next thing we're going to work on is going to be the jetpack for sure though. Yes. Do we need this just yet? We don't need this. So it's going to be jetpack and the monorail trains, which means computers. That's what's okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. So fuse quick wire again, alternate flexible framework, and a stitched iron plate. That's tempting. Uh, for sure. Should we use that, like now? Oh. 
Probably not, because when I think about it, like, if we're gonna start making computers and stuff, we need quite a lot of copper. Both the copper sheets as well as copper cable, or just regular cable. Uh, we may actually need to stuff something of this wall, which is more cable. And then circuit boards and air limiters are quick wire. Okay. I will then definitely get the fuse quick wire now. I think I should get one more actually. Yeah, let's get another one. Okay. Okay. Another thing I was going to do now is replace an awesome sink. I need to actually put the power. Print the coupons? 41, that's pretty good. Destruct it. Fetch another one as well and go a bit of a spending spray. I want all the things. So street lights, inner lighting, floodlights, light control panel. I want the concrete foundation material. Yes. Uh, I want the concrete walls. Oh right, okay. Care about that just yet. Foundations. I already got the quarter pipes. I'm gonna get the other ones, I think, as well. Uh, I don't necessarily need them, I suppose, just yet. Let's wait. Got the counter pillars. Let's get industrial railing. The structural frame set. I think I already got everything here. All right. Oh, there is Mark II power outlets. And I mean Mark III is okay, cool. And then, I suppose those, organization. Okay. Fortify, bio. Anything else I want right now? Probably not. Okay. So, there is a question to be had. I am considering if it would be smart to start on the main base already. So everything we have done up until now is temporary. Temporary.tm that is. Uh, yeah, this will probably stay for a long time. It's of course just like the only like goal up until now has just been let's fill a container with some resources I can take and then use to build stuff. And then use that to build stuff to build more stuff that can fill containers. Uh, but now of course we get into some actual production lines. We get the or like the, of course petroleum stuff already. And computers and crystal oscillators are so compl complicated that I'm kind of thinking it wouldn't really make sense to first make them in a temporary way for then just to like, oh, let's just tear this down like in 20 hours and rebuild it and build something better. Now, the reason I haven't actually done that up until now is because I didn't really know where my main base was going to be. I realize that this biome we're currently in has a couple advantages that might seem weird, but actually isn't. There's basically no resources in this biome. And the good thing about that is means that means that like there isn't gonna be that much processing here for resources, which means that when it comes to the lag, we won't have any extra resources to that. Everything else is plotted with resources, which means we need to like add in all the lag compensated for like all the resource processing because I will be I will be processing like resources turning like iron ore into iron ingots next to the node as opposed to like bring all iron into one centralized location I'm pretty sure now I don't think I'm gonna build like a very tall base I think I can instead of it like just build sort of mini bases around so like have say like one building over there which will be dedicated towards building computers and like one for crystal oscillators uh, we need like 
I'm not really spilling here, I might just stay. Uh, I might increase production, we'll see. But all of that. So I'm thinking that's actually going to be what I'm going to do. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to start doing that like now or in a little bit. I'm going to get the jetpack first. So that means we need to get a bunch of alternate recipes. Also a bunch of power slugs because with that being the, the sort of the like proper building or like proper base, I will be assuming everything will be power sharded. So yeah. So let's actually go and get back to the oil place. Let's actually go and get the packaged oil or packaged fuel even set up, which allows us to get jetpacks. And I don't think I need any of this other stuff. We will need monorails in a bit, but I think I should get the computers first. And I'll just like make either just a product line for computers or I'll actually make like a proper one. And of course we have a KTR node there, so I'll probably just like use that KTR node to all oh right, we need the we need copper though. Yeah, I'll figure something out. Okay, so packaged fuel. How do we make that? Well, I guess we first need to actually make the fuel itself. Let's just... Uh, okay. So fuel comes from either just straight up crude or it comes from the heavy oil residue. I'm guessing we'll probably just use that since like currently we have, that's just like a... Right. Oh, right, I should not have pipes with rice. Uh, oops. Is there a default? I do think actually I would like to like pi uh, paint all the uh, pipes and stuff later on, but that will be later. I suppose I could probably just repurpose these ones, I guess. In all honesty, yes. Uh, Sigil fuel takes in 60 per minute. I can only two of them. Cool. Uh, we have one still. Don't cook this bus. So that just makes the fuel. And then, where's this weapon? Okay. And then we need a packager. A little bit of steel, a little bit of a little bit of plastic. Beans. Let's just take all. Steel canisters, okay. Ooh, interesting. Definitely. Where's that? Okay. So apparently if you uh, start walking forward, it will just stick your fork in. And I need like a constructor for the canisters. Hmm. 
Let's just ignore that. So, Clippy, what do you mean? And you'll make the empty canisters. Cool. Make like package few. Trying to get a little bit better transportation. Save and boom. R and D inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Okay, let's make some air limiters done. What do you mean? 15. There we go. Let's get the jet back. And equip it. So you can have both the Blade Runners and the jet back as well as the head. And it goes in the body slot. Has got suit. Light. So we saw some. Let's go and get this like uh so this thing here it wasn't too well, too good. Let's go and get this thing here. So that's actually what's gonna happen now. So I still need more recipes for the petroleum stuff. I get basically there's a bunch of like alternates that just give you like more efficient usage of um, Okay. Gives you more efficient usage of the petroleum. And I need still a couple more. I don't think I have enough hard drives to really do that. Also, like I need some alternates for like computer stuff, I need still need to get like some pure uh, Caterium, pure iron, and things like that. And so I need to go on a little bit of a hard drive hunt, and when I'm over, over there, I may as well also go on a little bit of a uh, let's go a little bit of a uh, slug hunt as well. I guess there is that like thing quartz, this thing. I should get this because I'm pretty sure that's the hard drives. Hundred crystal oscillators. Okay, that's pretty painful. I'm gonna set up an assembler to do that, and then we'll just sort of just make them over time. But yeah. So yeah, so that's gonna basically be that. Uh, next episode, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Uh, Mostly off camera. I'm gonna start by just doing a hard hunt, slug hunt, and that. Then I'm gonna start working on like building a main base, or at least. Well, I guess I should still. Thing is, I still don't really know about like what will computers look like, for example. Maybe I should just get computers like operational and get that, and then maybe I can also go out to that uh, to the nodes there. I can just go and purify all of that. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. Because uh, some of the like the things I'm questioning is, I definitely want to use that like 
alternate criterion recipe, or quick wire, sorry. Because that just gives you significantly more quick wire. And criterion is a limited resource, so I want to use this even if it's like not necessarily necessary, but I know. So I want to do this, but the thing is like we don't really have copper anywhere near those criterion nodes. Like we need Because like this thing here is like a three to one. I think it's a two to one when you get the purified thing. So it's like we need essentially two and a half pure nodes per pure Caterium node. We have two pure Caterium nodes. We have only one pure copper node. So I need to get a bunch more copper if I'm going to use this. Though. Well, of course, there's some like I mean, this of course gets increased. Eh, it's yeah, it's some mafia stuff. It's weird. So that's what I'm gonna basically just plan to do. Also that ult that signal that looks really cool. The good thing is it's a hundred per minute. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use that a lot actually. I might use that like over here or something. Like where there's some copper nodes and a bunch of iron. I will see. Yeah, I'm just gonna do something. I'm not quite sure just yet. I'm not gonna do like the planning of camera. I will do the planning with you. I'm gonna do most of the building of camera. So we'll sort of see. I'm gonna have to run the numbers and just sort of look, take a look at I think just what is like the optimal way of doing things. And then next episode we'll go and make computers, AR limiters, circuit boards, probably crystal oscillators. Probably also have modular frames. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go and basically fetch all of the like hard drives and stuff. Like just scan those and see if I can't find some better recipes. And then when all that's done, we'll go and take a look at uh, or we go back to the Patron stuff and finish that, basically. Uh, other stuff as well, for example, like the cop the steam copper sheets. Have we got no this one I think is that what they're called? I don't know, I think it's called like, I mean it's not, I think it's like the, for the, okay, whatever. Um, this is a better one, right, 2 to 1 versus 3 to 1, and like over there we have a pure node, so I could just go and like, turn up pure node, because we have water nearby, turn up pure node just straight into copper sheets, as opposed to copper ingots, give me a pretty much infinite water, that's like another consideration to make made as well, like, do I just want to make the actual copper ingots there and bring them back to base, or do I want to make, like actually make the copper sheets and bring those back to base? I know, we'll have to see. Anyway, so that's it for today, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like, and so is, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and goodbye.